think we'd end up here? What's up, everyone? Torchlight Wolf here, and welcome back to Ghost Recon Breakpoint. Now, before I get this started, make sure to go and click the subscribe and click the bell. That way you'll know each time I drop another one of these, and be sure to share this video because that greatly helps me out. And without further ado, let's get right back into this. God. Anything different since that broadcast went out? Group of outcasts saved my ass out there. Might be a good people. idea to join forces. Okay. Let's see if I can do this without crashing this time. Everything okay? I thought we'd have more time. What happened? Captain Coleman made her move. Earlier than I thought. Earlier than we were prepared for. This is Hector Harris. We found him collapsed in the woods about a mile from Arrow One. Wilderness would have taken him if we hadn't lucked upon him. The homestead Hector lives on got raided. We were just sitting down to eat when I heard your trucks. Mm, smells good, baby. <laughs> Ooh. Say grace. Pop. Boy. Good evening. You what turned the... around somewhere? Oh, we're exactly where we need to be. The whole family here? This here's an invitation only dinner. You're gonna make this easy for me. This is my home. Look, you. Dad! Dad! Like I said, very easy. Those two. <laughs> Deal with him. No. Leave him alone. Mom! No. Mom! No. <laughs> Take care of the others. Well, that's dark. I just ran. I mean, I left them and ran away. There's no shame in surviving. Don't forget that. I ran when they took my mother, Mads. That's what I won't forget. It's worse than I feared. They're trying to exterminate us. You need to get all the homesteaders back to Air One. The Harris's place is right next to where Kyle and Layla live with Emmett. They could be next. Not if I can help it. Okay. Okay, let's see. Discuss. Because I'm actually curious if there's anything new. More lore time. Yes. Lucky you found this place. Rowan Brown knew about this place for a while. We figured sacred ground always makes good sanctuary. That's pretty damp, though. It's still a work in progress, all right? We've managed to stay under the radar so far. With all of you, our people, a bunch of Skeltech employees. I don't think you've got room to complain. Hey, I'm not complaining. This place is great. You take care of your people like a good NCO. They're their own people. We've no leaders here. Even so, I guess most people do look to me. Probably what Uncle Sam saw in you, I'd bet. Where'd you serve? 26th Expeditionary. I was infantry in Liberia and the Balkans. UN support off the Somali coast. NCO pension didn't suit you? I got tired of fighting over oil. So when the good old U.S. of A stopped pretending we had any other purpose, so did I. Served out the rest of my enlistment and decided to stay. If I was you, I would have left the island when Skeltech moved in. Skell wasn't so bad at the start. 
Until he made killer drones and turned the island into an exclusion zone? Obviously. Yep. Technology can be a pain in the ass. Yep. <laughs> okay, that... that's kinda true. You said Maria's your old lady? I jump into fire for that woman. You met here? On a row? She moved here as a child. She was about 20 when we got together. Some people find me prickly, if you can believe that. But she saw right through me. I've been searching my whole life for someone like her. She's as responsible for our success as Rowan and me. How's it feel having Skell here? He's just a person. Granted, not exactly my kind of people. Part of me is disappointed. The man can talk. He even had me starting to believe he was different. But then came the drones. Then came the drones. I wonder how many times in his career he's claimed more credit than he deserved. Now all he wants to do is give it away. Hopefully he makes himself useful. Time will tell. In the meantime, I'll talk with Fox instead. Fair enough. I'm sorry about those folks who died trying to make it to the Wasp. Appreciate you saying so, I guess. I ain't left Aroa since I decided to stay. Most of us are homesteading here. We made a point of cutting ourselves off from everything. Small price to pay for paradise. Once. But now we can't leave. So you pay a higher price to take it back? Maybe. But these people aren't warriors. Whatever survived, I get the feeling it wouldn't be the same. Aroa would be ruined. Just another place where people died. A lot of new faces around. Yours included. It's good of you. Sharing your food, patching us up, giving us a place to rest. I know it must be a strain. Something on your mind? I'm wondering. How long is this place going to be a secret? You think I haven't thought of that? Or what happens if one of these victims turns out to be a sentinel soldier? I owe my people. I know that. I'll do whatever I have to to protect them first, last, and only if it comes to that. I get it. But first you have to survive. You think Hector's gonna be okay? He won't be any worse than the rest of us. If you get a hair up your ass and want to head out there... Hey, we're families, not fighters. I'll get word to the other homestead, see if they want shelter. I need you to play offense. Jesus. You don't look like skill tech employees. No. I used to be a Marine at the Naval Station here. Some of the folks you see, like Maria, my old lady, they lived on the station with their families. When the Navy shut the place down in the 90s, a few of us stayed and homesteaded. We worked a long time to make a place for ourselves on Aroa. And now, you're in Sentinel's way. Most of my people are holing up here for now. I ain't been home in a dog's age, but I'll stand by any man or woman in green. You soldiers can stay as long as you don't cause trouble. And you lend a hand. We appreciate it. At least Layla's safe. God knows what Coleman's doing to get our location out of those boys. I should have convinced them to come back here. Hey, I tried to. And whatever happens, you've got my help. It'd be a pretty island without all the military contractors and killer drones. Used to be. I'd get some leave and just walk. I'd spend whole weeks just walking around with a pack on my shoulder. Uh, well, I'm probably getting my share of sightseeing. These islands have changed hands so much it's like a time capsule. I keep telling myself one day I'll get back out there, just see it all again before I'm too old to make the trip. Then again, who knows how far I'd get now. So what happened here? What didn't happen? Skeltech. It's Utopia. This place was paradise before they showed up with their toys. Come on. Digging in the dirt, worrying if you're gonna have a good crop, whether in hurricanes without any infrastructure, that's paradise? It was ours. It meant something. These people came here and brought the devil with them. 
People always bring the devil with them. Those people out there, they brought a few extra and they can have them. We're gonna weather the storm here. So you've got your people, but screw the rest of them. I got enough people to think about. So is living in a cave your idea of homesteading? With Sentinel stomping through the wild, we needed someplace off-grid. Wasn't always like this, you know. Used to be better. Yeah, sure. Even with scale and everything. Won't say it was like we were swapping recipes and PTA carpooling, but we got along. There was respect. Things took a turn after the bombing, though. Got bad, huh? Started with the curfews and checkpoints. Sentinel soldiers beating people, snatching them up. It's like some kind of nightmare. We had to run. We ain't cut out to fight a war. And the tighter Sentinel's grip got, the worse it got. We're simple people, but we're living like vermin, and these soldiers are hunting us down. We hide here, and we make the best of it. Yeah, I've seen this before. Too many times. I'm sure you have. Our Fox and Harmony holding up. Bit of a miracle they made it this far. That man couldn't find his nose without a mirror. He took a big chance trying to get off the island. And he's got a kid to think about. Things go south, he can't take care of himself, let alone her. Nobody does it alone. No, you're right. I've known Fox and Harmony for a little while. I just worry about them. They know they have a home here with us. Maybe you need to remind Fox. Put him at ease. Yeah. Mads, what do your people know about the wolves? They don't seem to fit into Sentinel so well. They're all sons of bitches. Yeah, but I don't get the chain of command. Trey Stone runs Sentinel. His men ain't always the cream of the crop. The wolves are Walker's troops. Now they scare me. They're motivated, well-trained, and efficient. I've seen that firsthand. Gossip is that Stone and Walker don't really get along. I don't think Walker's the play well with others type. You have no idea. Between Stone, Walker, and Paula Madeira, Jay Skell doesn't seem that good at keeping friends. Nope. I guess a rich guy like that, big tech boss, everybody must be wanting something from him. Maybe. But if folks keep turning on you, sooner or later you gotta ask yourself what part you played. Nah, you got used. Dr. Madeira seems to feel like she's the one got used. She's an engineer, so she's not a doctor. Does that mean she's wrong? I guess not. A world so, run by AI. AI. It's running way too much out there. When people started putting it all over their homes, that Internet of Things crap, that's when all doubt about homesteading left my mind. We're two steps away from letting AI make all the big decisions. Who do you think is making all them micro-trades that move the stock market up and down? Who do you think decides if you get that home loan? Who analyzes all the population data that decides government policy? You've thought about this. Maybe you should think about it more. How much AI are you carrying onto the battlefield? Jeez! You expect a lot more of your people will find their way here? There's plenty of room. A lot of folks living in a confined space. It leaves a big signature. It's hard living on the run. Hiding, living in fear. You're doing right by them. We take them in. We leave them in the wild, same thing. Everything's a risk. At least here, I know people are getting what they need. It ain't perfect, I know. But it's the best solution I got for now. I don't get how the drones aren't seeing you here. Well, that's all Jericho. Set up special nets at the openings that hide us from the sensors. Cave walls, take care of the rest. A little smarter than I am, so I'll let you ask her if you need more technical details. Yeah, thanks. I'll talk to you later. See ya. Yeah!
floor. I know that may have been boring for some of you, but for you guys who are enthusiastic about uh, video game lore like I am, that was for you guys. A world without war, poverty. Before my dad died. Hey, Nomad. Yes. I got something you might find interesting. They're gonna put this thing on drones? I know. I know. The ghosts are doing everything they can to stop it. What on earth is that subtext? Hold on. Do I have uh, settings? Which is the... Master volume. I have subtitles, if I'm not mistaken, so...
switched on. Be ready for okay. anything. Open it up. Get to my position. Roger that. We're moving to you. Do I have to do that through a menu thing? Really? No one's gonna tell us anything. Get it out of someone. That's great. We should just commit war crimes? No one asked you your opinion. Or maybe I should just start with you. you thinking we'll actually see action. Sentinel Breacher Helmet. What the hell are you doing here? Oh, this is all the intel I have. 
Please, please don't yeah, kill me. He's trying to jet. soft game. And 
dismantle that. Mass dismantle. Are you kidding? I was trying to get the parachute out. I'm reporting nothing.
be afraid. Any idea how to find this location? I actually know where you can find that. Thanks. Appreciate it. It was right outside. Ugh. Of course it would be here. Well, I don't see anything. Um, looks like we're clear. Ugh. All right, I'm gonna check your shit. Get back. Ugh.
Black Ops style. Okay, that may have been a little... Okay, that one-liner may have been a little too edgy. Uh, 7.62. I got 7.62 rounds. Why does my audio keep on going in and out, in and out? Okay, there we go. Are you here to take me back to Miss Herzog? I've been good, really good. 
Are you the man in charge of the Natural Hazard Control Center? I didn't want to leave. Mark made me. He said I needed some time to rest. Mark? Is he the office director? Yes, Mark. It was his idea. But she's not a bad person. She taught me how to see myself as I really am. Comfy? Hmm? Time to have a little chat. What do you... Is this about the back door? Don't worry about your little computer project. This is about you. It's about your future. It's about right now. Well, let's be reasonable. We can talk. Oh, this is messed up. You don't know how lucky you are. Most men never even come close to their breaking point. They never tested. And why should a man test himself? Anything you want. Please. A person with just a little smidge of money can afford so much of modern life. Air conditioning, television. can get food delivered right to your door. Just tell me what you want! I want to know if inside that soft, pudgy exterior there's any remnant of a man. Because you look like a sack sewn from pasty skin and filled with shit. I want to know how far you will bend before you break. No, 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 no. Oh my. Ah. I'm sorry she hurt you, but I need to find the office director. He said he was going to the conference hall to give a speech or something. Please tell Ilsa that I've been cooperative. You just stay here. Get some rest. I'll be good. I'll be good. Jeez, man, are you okay? Oh, Jesus. Wow.
Nice! One sec. The th my audio keeps on cutting out my headset. So... Distance. Good Lord, boss. 
Can you guys also hear that? Got him. Help me find this place. Here's the location of what you're looking for. Thanks a million. Stranger. Please, please don't hurt me. Help me and I won't have to. I need a way inside Herzog's prison. I I can't take any more abuse. Herzog will kill me if I help you. Just think of all the people she's tortured in there. People who work for you. Your friends. This is your chance to stop it. All right, look, I'll tell you how to get in. But that's all. After this, you're on your own. And that's all I'm asking for. Okay. Uh, uh. First, uh, you need to sever the optic cable in the Annex building. Okay. Uh, next, you'll need to create a new ID to get past security. Um, oh, there's, there's a biometric scanner in the control room. You'll have to scan your hand there. Once you do that, you'll have to hack the antenna on the rooftop and send the new ID to the prison servers. Then, and only then, will you be able to get into the prison. Thanks for having my back.
proof of life. Okay, let's go there. actually go there for now. Let's do that. Weapon review. I'm gonna deploy that again. Skip.
Wrong way. It's a job. Somebody's got to do it. You all right? They took them. Kyle, Emmett, the others we were with. They threw them in the back of a truck and drove them off. All right, come on. Let's get you to Air One. Oh, that's where the chopper is. Huh.
you really went? No. No, I don't. Oh, God. Why didn't they take me? They looked at some document and separated us. It didn't make any sense. Let's just get you to safety. No. No, I can't. I can't leave here without you. Layla. Listen, there is nothing you can do from here. Now, you know they'd tear each other apart if they thought you weren't safe. I'm gonna find whoever did this and tear them apart. Yeah. You both will. I just remembered. When they were sorting us, one of the soldiers pointed at me and said type 2. It's probably nothing, but I have type 2 diabetes. But that couldn't be why we were taken, right? It doesn't make any sense. I don't think we can rule anything out. And I don't have a better theory. Yeah, well, it doesn't feel right to be here with you while my boys are God knows where. Yeah. Yeah, my family's back stateside. They don't even know if I'm alive. Life is harsh, huh? Layla, good to see you got out in one piece. Yeah. Where are the boys? Taken. They were taken. We don't know where, but we'll find out. Listen, Mads, they sorted through the people, and they had a list. Took some, left others. Why would they do that? All I know is it's goddamn ominous, to say the least. you're ready to drink we celebrating Kyle is back he's a bit worn out but he's alive and he's free hey nomad the crafty devil got himself out those summer's jeans are top of the line hey man where did they have you they were keeping us at some lab in Aurora hospital but Emmett he's he's, he's still there you think Emmett would talk tell Sentinel about air one before he hooked up with Layla and Kyle Emmett was a lawyer for Skell. Got laid off, replaced by a computer. He ain't exactly farm strong. He won't talk. I've been telling you, he won't. All right, kid, relax. Damn, you've been through hell, yeah? Go on, take a rest, we'll handle it. Think you can spring our lawyer? I'll pay a visit to that lab. Bring Emmett back. Something Here. you might find interesting. I've got all the best stuff.
We'd end up here. I should have whatever you need, and maybe a few things you didn't know you needed. Haven't done anything with her in a while. How do you put up with Mads? Oh, he's not so bad. Once you get past that prickly shell, he's the perfect teddy bear when you need a cuddle in the cold night. You know what? I'm gonna leave the cuddling to you. Besides, I'm still getting that prickly shell. He just takes a little patience. We don't suffer fools out here. My husband sees something catawampus, he smacks it till it's straight. Then I'll make sure I'm squared away. How are the homesteaders feeling about Skell now? Well, that's not so simple. Nobody's really thrilled with him, as you could have guessed. They avoid him, like the plague. But that suits him just fine. He don't have to mingle with us anyway. Can't they just learn to live without the small talk? I suppose I'll have to. People here seem to respect him more now. I guess that's what you call it. We thought he was a heartless fool before, but now, maybe he was just naive. You can't fault a man for that. I see that he really is dedicated and hardworking, and those are values that we homesteaders hold very dear to us. I'll see you around. You be safe out there. Yes, ma'am. This is how things were gonna go when Sentinel came here? Drones! Drones! They're gonna put this thing on drones? I know. I know. The ghosts are doing everything they can to stop it. What were we? What were our lives?
Okay, yeah, that was possibly the most perfect thing that I have ever said, so... Floated down wind. I'm guessing it's your handiwork. Hello. Yes, it is mine. The lanterns are for my grandfather, to honor him. What'd your grandfather do? He was a soldier in World War II. He crashed on the island, defected, and then met my grandmother. So to you, abandoning your duty is worthy of honor. That is not what I'm celebrating. What then? I always adored my grandfather. One day, after a heavy rain, I found his photos buried in my family's garden. Things from his old life, his life of war. I make these lanterns every year on the anniversary of his death, to recognize that it is never too late to change who you are. My grandfather killed many people, but he was also brave enough to realize the error of his ways. He did everything he could to atone for his misdeeds. I'm not sure bravery is the right word for that. He built a new life from ashes. There's bravery in that. And now those soldiers desecrate his memory. Yeah, and what makes you say that? I kept the photos of my grandfather. I remember what he looked like vividly, every detail. Down to the buttons of his jacket. Last week, I saw a soldier wearing it. They stole his precious things. Then you'd like help getting them back. Please. I can show you the pictures of what was taken. Wait. I recognize some of this gear myself. It used to belong to a friend of mine named Midas. The soldiers took these too? They took all of it. All right, I'll help you.
at it with this shit. We're not gonna find anything. Just do your damn job. No targets visible. They're attacking! I'm taking some cover! They have us. Hostiles, heads up! You're dead! Jeez. And on that note, I'm going to leave this here for now. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to leave a like on this video if you like it, just like it did. Make sure to leave a comment. Any feedback is good feedback. Be sure to share this video because that greatly helps me out. And like always, have a nice hunt. Peace.